I've had this request on several sites where the steam turbine valve test color is this lime green and they asked me to change the color. And I'm going to say this is the fourth or fifth time that this has come up and every time I have to look and hunt on how to do it, so I decided I was going to make a video about it. The easy way is just right click here, go to trend controller properties and you can change the color from that green to say a red and then it shows up as a red. Easier to see than that really difficult green color. Now the next time you go back to that screen it's going to be green again so that's not a permanent fix. So you go into sim edit and you can't fix it the same way. You'd open this group, you'd right click on this and if you come here to your properties on this there's no lines configured because there's a script that calls them in. So to fix this permanently you have to actually right click on the trend, go into properties and go to your scripts and here's where it calls the points and here's where it calls the colors whenever you hit these different buttons at the top here to change between the tests so we want to edit the scripts and we're going to come down here to the when it calls the MSV1 trend for example and here's where it calls what is the tag and where it calls the color now this is hex, so if you wanted to change this second color here, which is the green, you change the hex code here, which is 84FF84, for say a 0000FF, and that should get us a different color, that should get us red based on the hex code. And to test that, we would just close it, and test the screen and it will pull it up as red and blue. Now since we didn't do the second command line it still calls that to green but going forward it'll always call that as red. So now you just want to go back into the script by going to properties of the trend object go to the script tab and go through and change all the fluorescent greens to the red. After you save the screen and test it, you'll see now it's blue and red. Now the other thing I did was I also changed here on the screen where CV1 used to be green. I had to go in the screen and basically open that container. And under colors, I changed them all to red where they used to be the green. And you have to do that one container at a time. Let me know with that. Save it. Tell it you want to copy it out to your other workstations. And then check it back in. With a note as always. Now if you wanted to choose any other color, you would just basically go to Google and you could just say, type in the Google field hex code for whatever color you wanted. 